My name is John Mest. I was a former employee at GMC Truck and Coach. I was one of the people that hand built the very first three of the motorhomes. Well, you see this big open area over here. He says, that's your department, your final finish. I touched every one of them that came out of that plant. I worked all the way to the very end. They laid us off. We were told in advance, a few weeks in advance, that we were going to get laid off. And if there was then a dry eye in the house when everybody got laid off. Quite a few years later, I, when I moved to Dubuque, Iowa, I, bought, I found one sitting in an alley. I was over at the Union Hall for where I was working at, and I decided I was going to cut across town, and I found my motorhome sitting in an alley in a, in a driveway. And I went up and knocked on the door, and the people said, well, that's our son's. We want it the hell out of here. <laughs> Sorry about that, but <laughs> they were they wanted it gone. So the son sat there and told me how much he wanted for it, and I said, there ain't no way. It was in bad shape. I ended up, I bought the motor home, brought it home, and my wife said, oh, hell no, you're not going to park that in the driveway. My wife finally broke down let me do, work on it in the driveway, and a lot of work. And my motorhome started out life as an Eleganza. It's been through, I don't know how many hands, but a lot of them. Uh, there's been a lot done to it that I didn't do, that I've corrected. But it's, it's to own one, it's a, you gotta love them. That's all there is to it. I've always wanted one, and I finally own one. I, like I tell a lot of people, you need to be a plumber, mechanic, uh, electrician, air conditioning specialist, body man, you name it. And there's a lot of work if you're going to get one and restore it. You can go out and find them that have been restored. And they're great, but you, you still need to know a lot about them. They are a wonderful motorhome. They'll be around for a lot, lot longer than I'm going to be around. And I hope they do, because right, right now, 83% of these motorhomes are still on the road. There's still a lot of them that are out in fields waiting to be found and worked on. You can still get almost every part for it. Got a lot of wonderful people that will stand behind you if you got a problem. They'll sit there and they'll, they're called blacklisters. And if you got a problem, you can contact them. They'll, they'll point you in the right direction. They'll tell you or show you what to do. Some of them even build parts for some of the upgrades that you can do. It's, it's, it's just a wonderful community. My motor home started life as an Eleganza. The guy that I got it from totally butchered the inside and there was stuff missing in it that should have been there but I've found parts over the years for it. I myself have taken six years to get it to where it is now. It's been, a, it's been to me it's been a labor of love and the idea that this is something I did years ago and I can still enjoy today. That everybody calls their motorhomes different things. They give them names. Like there's one that's named Willie Nelson. I've seen one called Phyllis Diller. I've seen another one called Dragon. And people give their names, you know, motorhomes names. Mine, so far, it, it's been through a lot. So now it's, mine's affectionately called the Redneck Edition. <laughs> I even got a plaque on it that says it. And a lot of people now, they call that one the Redneck Edition. And it's it's kind of stuck. It's sort of like a, me being called Wild Man back at General Motors. <laughs> but like I said, if you're going to get one, you need to realize 
that you're going to be putting a lot of money in these. You got to be, you got to understand that there's going to be things that you're going to sit there and go, oh my God, now what did I get myself into? Take your time, take a deep breath. Remember, if you're going to do this, do it right the first time. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be a showpiece. Make it comfortable, make it livable, make it drivable, make it your own. And that's basically what, what I've done with mine. And my wife loves it now. <laughs> Not in the beginning, but now she, she really likes it. But uh, they got 23 footers and 26 footers. I be, there's one that's even here at this rally. We're in Michigan today, and somebody stretched their six foot. And yeah, they do stretch them and make, make them bigger. But it's, it's what you want to do. You know, it's your dream, make it come true.